misconception that making creme brulee is hard. No, it's really easy. I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's go. I couldn't just make a basic creme brulee. So I decided to make use of all the summer citrus and make an orange lemon creme brulee. Cut straight down the middle, gently press away, put your pulp aside. I made it easy on myself this time. Since these oranges are pretty big, I've cut them into smaller pieces. Take an orange slice, squeeze the juice out, easily discard. I'm all about a process. Not me going rogue ever. <laughs> time to zest. And just zest a little bit of this in a bowl. I might add more later, it just depends what I'm feeling. Probably not the way the French would do this, but that's okay because I am Italian. It's a fact. Next up is the making of our custard. I am putting a pot of water on this eye. You can't really see it. This eye right here. And I'm putting it on medium low heat so it will come to a boil. The oven is set to 325 degrees, letting that heat up. And so I'm gonna start with our whipping cream. You need two cups. One. Am I gonna make it? <laughs> Just barely. Pour this into a saucepan. You'll stir this occasionally on medium high heat until it comes to a boil. You're gonna put the rest of your custard together by adding six egg yolks. Six. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs. Oh, I'm roughly the size of a barge. <laughs> to another bowl. Whisk your egg yolks. Don't forget to stir your heavy cream and it will likely start to bubble on the sides and in the center and when it does that, you know it's ready to be taken from the heat. Ooh, we're there. You're going to add in a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract. So one. Uh, we'll do two. Surprise, surprise. Make sure you're watching your water as well because that is also coming to a boil. Not quite there yet, that's okay. While the cream is cooling, you're gonna add a half cup of sugar to your egg mixture and whisk that together. So this is a half cup. And then you're going to whisk this together until it gets light in color. This is the color that you want. This is the consistency that you want. I'm going to slowly pour in our warm cream mixture into the egg mixture a little bit at a time so it can be incorporated into the egg and sugar and not cook the eggs. And now for something that is not part of a traditional creme brulee, I'm going to add four tablespoons of our orange juice that we squeezed. Our water has come to a boil. I'm going to turn that off, let that cool for a bit. And whoop, there will be some foam at the top of this mixture. That's okay, because what you're gonna do is strain it anyways over another bowl. Mesh strainer, smaller bowl with a lip on it. That is important because you're going to need to pour from this container. Carefully, carefully, huh, this one does not have a lip. Strain your mixture. It's actually the first time I'm ever making this in an orange water bath. Those will cook for 45 minutes, and yeah, be back in 45. Bonjour! 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 There goes the baker with this tray, like always. Isn't this amazing? It's my favorite part because you'll see. I removed the creme brulee with our trusty of glove. And now it's going to cool for 15 minutes before it goes in the fridge to set for two to three hours. Two to three hours gives me plenty of time to create the perfect Spotify playlist to pair with this and you enough time to watch previous bake alongs if you're feeling so inspired. See you in a bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Time to 
torch at creme brulee. Now I'm going to coat this in turbinando sugar. I like to put it in the center and then slowly drizzle it around the sides to make sure it's just got a nice even coating. Be careful if you've never used a torch like this before, make sure you understand where the safety is. If there's no one around in your line of fire, back away from it at first and lightly go in a circular motion. Now it's going to start to caramelize. out and you don't have enough butane fuel to refill it you can always boil this which is what I'm going to do to finish the job a few minutes later after you boil these and torch them it's time to either garnish them with mint or taste test them as they are I garnish them but I'm not gonna wait long before I taste them ready to crack I mean, do you hear that crunch? I like the sugar a little bit more crunchy, so I kept it in the broiler a little bit longer. Amazing. Yum. That is hard to beat. Like I said, it's an easy dessert for the summer. Anytime, really. It just requires some time and patience, but assembly, not hard at all. I hope you enjoyed this bake along today. Subscribe and follow along for more fun stuff. I'll link the Spotify playlist below. And that's all for now. Bon appetit.